Hello everyone, this is Victor Kilo 3 Bravo Lima and um, today I'm doing my long awaited and much promised uh, Sark 100 review and giveaway. Now please bear in mind this is actually a Sark 100 clone and I'm just going to hold it up to the camera. They're the units available on eBay cheaply um, but uh, my some of the early ones they did report that the, um, the frequency generator was a little bit off. But the unit we received, um, we've found to be perfect. It's in line with uh, what our other instruments um, uh, find. And basically, it's very solidly built. You can use it with a computer. And it's um, we essentially think it's great value for the money. Now, we have a, a little bit of an ethical issue saying that because we do acknowledge that all the design work was done by um, a Spanish amateur. And unfortunately, the, the, the source code, I suppose, was basically copied and um you know used by chinese manufacturers now this is quite a common thing that happens you do have to be very very careful if you're planning to design a product and then get it manuf manufactured in china um it's it's not wise if you're a, if you're a small uh, a small business that you can't uh, and you don't have the legal clout i suppose to uh you know get your intellectual property enforced in china don't do it keep it in house keep it in your country and um, that sort of thing. Now, all of that said, um, the reality is they're on the marketplace today. There was quite a bit of demand for um, an analyzer um, with the poll I did for the in the VK amateur room. And um, look, we just thought this is a great one to start with. So I'll hold it up. So that, I'm just getting that right, is the, oh, video's a little slow, please bear with me is the Sark 100K SWI Analyzer. It's the cheapest of the, the Chinese units at the moment, um, but it does come in a very rugged uh, case and um, the buttons have a nice feel to them. It's it's quite a nice unit. The one thing I will say about our unit is, I'll just turn it over, even though there is a battery panel in the back, ours didn't come with any battery um, storage components. Now we had planned to put in four AA battery, or sorry, two by four AA battery um, holders and solder them in place, but they don't actually fit. Now, just prior to this uh, review, as such, someone mentioned that you could go with six, uh, sorry, with AAA batteries and their holders, and they would all fit, which would be fine. But we will be including a DC power adapter with our giveaway unit and um, a USB cable for connection to computer. One of the things I like about this unit, especially is that um, other amateurs have gotten on board because it's a rather open um, product. Other amateurs have got on board and they've made um, tools you can use with it to plot your antenna on a computer and things like that. And that's how we, I sort of verify its accuracy. I've used my um, big Pelstar tuner up here behind me. And that's reading at the moment that it's tuned to... Uh, on the 80 meter band 3575 now when i plug this into the antenna and we'll do that in a second and i'll turn it on we'll go and do a sweep of the 80 meter band and we'll find out exactly where um the tuner thinks so i don't have much room here the the analyzer sorry thinks the um the antenna is tuned to at the moment now of course i can i can go and i don't need an antenna tuner in line it's just a nice little way of verifying the accuracy of my two bits of test gear. Um, obviously, neither of them are, you know, super calibrated bits of gear. But if they both agree with each other, that's a good way of knowing that your test equipment is relatively spot on. You know, if you've got a, a bunch of different test gear and it all agrees, you can have confidence in your measurement. Um, so anyway, we'll switch it on. It comes up with Sark Analyzer by EA4FRB. Um, and then it basically starts on the 14 meter band. The one thing we don't like about it is the fact that it's annoying to change bands. Watch as I go to 80. 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 160, 80. You sort of have to press uh, twice between each band to get there. So now I'll in initiate a simple scan. And we'll just hit scan here. And it starts, you can vary the ranges. This one's actually starting at uh, 2, 2. And now it's beeping. Those two beeps you might have heard are when it found a, a reasonable SWR. Now it's finished. So let's go have a look. It's decided my antenna has a usable bandwidth, and that's under 2 to 1. 
of 100 kilohertz. And that's through the, the tuner at the moment, mind you. So we'll go through and we've found that, um, let's have a look. According to this unit, at 3580, I have an SWR of 1.10 and an impedance of 70. If I then go and have a look at the reactants, um, it's showing me a true repeat, impedance of 49 plus J0. So no real reactants there. Um, capacitance of 189.6 and an inductance of 7 microhenries. Now, I will say this is not a vector analyzer. This is an SWR analyzer. So it does guess those values. And the way it does that is by looking, um, I guess, I'm trying to figure out how to express this. It looks at, as it goes through the, the scan, it, it watches how the um, the impedance signs vary, the impedance varies, and that's how it decides what's a minus, represented by my hand being here, and what's a plus. It doesn't, in, oh, sorry, a plus. It doesn't intuitively know, like a vector analyzer, whether it's a plus or a minus. The only way it knows is by doing the sweep, seeing the the dip, where SWR is nice, and seeing it go climb back up, and it knows that. When it's doing a sweep in that direction, it's going to be, um, you know, negative over here and positive over here. So, but it's still a very useful instrument. If, you, if you're out in the field or you just want to do a, a simple check on your station to write in your logbook that your antenna hasn't died after winter, there's nothing wrong with this instrument. It's fine. And it's very, very cheap, very ruggedly built. Personally, given the size of this particular unit, I think it's perfect for basically just having in the shack, um, you know, you might keep a record of your antennas um, results um, in your station log and say, you know, on uh, the 1st of January 2018, my antenna read this, this and this, um, as scanned by my SARC. And then, you know, six months later or three months later, as good station practice, you'd go through again, scan your antennas and say, okay, at this point in time, my antenna read this, this, and this. Um, and that way you can see whether there's been damage to your antenna that might cause station um, equipment problems, all that sort of thing. That's good, proper, broadcast-level engineering station maintenance. That's what they have to do at big AM stations and things like that in the past. They had to keep a log to make sure that this station wasn't, getting, wasn't degrading over time. So that's where this sort of instrument's really useful. Now, the guy who designed that went and... Uh, Excel exceeded himself and excelled and designed the Sark 110. Now I'll turn it on. If you want a serious instrument, this is a beautiful instrument. Not only will it, it's actually a vector analyzer, and not only will it do things like um, those, uh, you know, find where your one to one point is and stuff like that, and find your impedance signs. It'll do things like tell you where there's bumps in, you know, breaks in your cable or impedance bumps in your cable. Maybe someone's bent the cable too much or squished, uh, squished it. Maybe there's a bad connector. It'll tell you the length of your cable. This instrument costs about four times the price. But if you're serious about, um, you know, installing antennas and playing around with things, you can't go wrong with the Sark 110A. I can't recommend it enough. I work in data cabling and I actually use it for data cabling as well. It actually has the profiles for Ethernet cable in it. So I can go and hook it up to an Ethernet cable and tell the length, whether it's CAT6 or CAT5. It's got the velocity pro propagation factors of all, you know, all the different common amateur coaxes. So that's a serious instrument. It's small. It's very, very powerful. I was going to do a bit of a comparison, but honestly, the, the Sark one that we're giving away today... While it's perfect for tuning an antenna, um, there's, there's, you can't compare them. It's like comparing a, a mobile, a, a, mo a handheld radio to a base station HF, HF radio. That's the difference in performance. This is a serious instrument. So we won't go too much into that. That said, as I was mentioning previously, there's a surprise Easter egg in the Sark 100, uh, the Sark 100 that you can get on eBay. And that's a bit of software, and it's called... Now, unfortunately, I know you can't see my PC screen and there's this silly microphone in the way. This is a Rode uh, Procaster, by the way. I think it works great for the Australian voice. I st we still recommend the Heil PR781 um, as a, a radio mic, but for YouTube, this, this mic seems to do the job for, for us personally. Um, now, 
there's a program on my PC here, and it's called Sark 100 PC, uh, PC Scan by Sierra Mike Whiskey Hotel Yankee. I've got version 4. And you basically just use a little USB cable like this. That's why there's cables everywhere. And you plug it into the bottom of the Sark. And you'll then get another COM port on your computer. And your compu this program will be able to remotely control the Sark and draw you a nice graph. So, you, And you can even export it to an Excel document. So you can do your own... Um, you know your own analysis and that's where this is a great instrument to have in the shack because it's solidly built it's probably a little bit too big and heavy for a field day use but you know combining this with this software and the ability to save um, an excel sheet you can make a log of your antenna performance over time and that's where i think it's really useful and for the price you're really getting a bargain i mean i know this is a freebie so whoever gets this is going to love it but for the hundred dollars or whatever, depending on where our dollar is at the moment, the nice, big, ruggedly built Sark, the frequency does, as I said, I've, I have tested on multiple other frequencies, but as you can see, it matched it matched up on eighty exactly with my tuner. Um, you know, it it's spot on. It's a good instrument. It's great for the money. So yeah, grab one of these for a hundred. Combine it with this software by um, Sierra Mike 6 Whiskey Hotel Yankee, Sark 100 PC Scan. And basically, you've got a system of being able to check your station every three months, save plots of what your antenna looks like onto your computer, and pull them up as needed. And um, I, I really think that's a fantastic thing. You know, that, that ensures that, you know, you're being diligent, you're looking after your station, and you're making sure that um, your antenna is not degrading. You're not you're not going to accidentally blow your finals because the SWRs are dropped out or there's an intermittent connection, things like that. So that's where I really see the value in having an instrument like that in the shack. Um, obviously, um, you know, uh, given that I work in data cabling and that, and then I had the opportunity to buy a Sark 100, uh, 110, sorry, at a, at a great price. Um, that's what uh, we use here in our main shack now. Um, but that said... Um, there's there's nothing wrong with the cheaper units. This is a simple antenna analyzer. Please don't mind my hand <laughs> um, holding up this mic. It's uh, quite a heavy mic at the moment. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that's been of interest to you. Hopefully that's explained why you would want a Sark 100 uh, and what you can do with it. There is a Sark Mini 60. Um, they Some of them come with a battery and some of them recommend it. But honestly... Um, for, for shack use especially, I think this unit is the one to have. And the reason I say that is, I'll disconnect the USB cable. It's it's a solidly built instrument. It's going to last. It's made well. Um, sorry, let's turn it off. We'll turn it back on. You know, and... For the money, you just can't compare. It's got a proper BNC port on it. Uh, sorry, a proper SO239 or UHF connector port on it. You know, there's nice nice metal screws, nice casing. Um, and, you know, you can power it with a standard 12-volt uh, shack adapter. So, you know, if you run it off your shack power, for instance, you can be sure there's no ground loops or other kinds of things distorting your results. So... That's why I think for a shack instrument, this is really valuable and everyone into HF should basically have one. So there you go. That's the that's the Sark um, 100 eBay clone. Um, and we're giving it away. Um, we're going to announce the details. Uh, unfortunately, this is a VK only sort of uh, competition, but we're going to announce the details on uh, the VK Amateur Radio Facebook pages. We will be following up in the future um, as the stage, as the YouTube channel progresses with international competitions. Um, but at the moment, uh, I don't know the slightest thing about postage and that to the to state side. So um, this is just an impromptu thank you for, for everyone who supported us and to show us that we like giving back to the community. Oop, I'm hiding my face here. Um, this is actually a lot harder than I thought. So <laughs> very busy day, guys. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed that sort of overview, why you'd want to own one. And um, yeah, look out for the competition details. I will say one last thing. Our friends at, uh, uh, our friend Ross, um, Slim, 
uh, people may know Slim, has kindly donated some other little uh, giveaways. That's a, a bag carry handle. And um, that's a Yesu 50 Years uh, glasses cleaner. So not only will someone, um, you know, win in the competition um, the Sark 100 analyzer, as shown there, we will also be giving away some, some um, basically, promotional gear from Yesu. So I think that's pretty cool. Tell us what you think. Thanks. Uh, thank you very much for supporting us. Um, you know, the international guys, stay tuned. We, we're there for you as well. I mean, one of our largest audiences is stateside. And I've got to say thank you to you guys somehow. I really do. And we're going to do it. And I've already got something in mind. Um, so st stay tuned for that. I think that's going to be a, a great giveaway. We've just got to, uh, we've got to get there. Um, but yeah, this has been a great journey. Um, we're going to get an audio production desk soon. We're going to get all kinds of stuff. We might even start, look, let me know. If you want to see videos on how we're building our channel, let us know and we'll do those as well. Um, yes, I'm the guy talking on the microphone, but there's there's heaps of people involved in Rate My Radio and um, it's fantastic. This is just a thank you video. It's a giveaway. Um, I'm just, just so happy. I, I really can't express it. So... Um, yeah, VK guys, get in, follow the rules of the competition. Someone's going to end up with a, a great accessory in their shack. A few other people will end up with some nice promotional gear. I mean, I like that, 50 years of Yesu. And, you know, some of us who get sore hands, that's a, a, um, a, a bag carry holder sort of thing. So, you know, there's some, there's some nice things we've got. So um, I like promotional gear. I mean, I've got a promotional hat on at the moment. I've got a few... Feel free to send me hats, guys. I um I like my different hats. So <laughs> um there you go. Um I'm rambling now, I know this is 40 meters for me, but I'm just I'm just so happy. Please don't hold it against me. I'm just so happy with the community, how I've been able to help everyone out and um just the ham spirit. It's just something that, you know, in modern day life, people aren't looking out for each other like they used to. Um, you know, things just there's just a lot of turmoil in the world at the moment and it's just nice to have the ham community there behind us all and we're rock solid and we're there for each other and this is just my way of saying thank you as much as I can, guys. So uh, 73 from Jared. Um, hopefully that's not too much of a serious note but, lot, you know, lots of respect here. I'm going to do my best to, to keep producing great content for you guys and helpful stuff so please do email me with any questions you have or any suggestions. Um, we're going to do a bit more on the ICR 8600 soon um, because we, we're going to do some higher band stuff. I've got got some skeds lined up so you can see what um, I think 1200 and 2.4 signals look like on that uh, receiver. Um, I've got the FTM 3207 Yesu standalone uh, 70 centimeter uh, entry level wires, uh, sorry, uh, system fusion um, radio up there. I reckon it's fantastic. We're going to cover more on that soon. Um, so stay QRV and, um, once again, thanks guys. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll sign off for now, but look, you've just, I'm just so happy to be part of this community. It really is fantastic. I just can't say it enough. 73 guys from VK3, BL and the Rate My Radio team. Thanks for the journey and, uh, all the memories. We're going to keep at it.